Right, Sunday morning. This is how we left it on Friday. So, all our internals are ready for the slab. Nice to get our brickwork across. Which is good. I just need a good scrape off that. Um, we need to check our floor level because we are, of course, below the. We're following the course of the house over here. We need to get up here somewhere. So we've got some timber to put around the edge of that. Some timber, some packers if we need them. Uh, one last thing, we need to put a bit of fiberglass around that before we backfill. That's the uh, gas pipe. And we need to drop these our pipes down a bit because they're, they're in the concrete at the moment so we need to drop them down below the concrete and then smash out here. That's that's the first job. Oh, it's just getting some stone around, making a start on the back filling. Oh, is that, that extension is switched on? Okay, we've done our measuring and organising, what have you. So, this step is 15mm lower than the house floor. So, we're going to come about 10mm lower with our slab, and then they can put some decent, decent underlay and laminate on top of that to bring it level. So, we've transferred the levels around and it works out. Or be one with a packer. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix this and tamp off it. So, and with that going on, bringing us up now, that brings our pipe plenty low enough into the insulation and out of the concrete. So we're gonna smash through here now with the, with the breaker, put our pipe in, and then the pipe vents into the cavity, and then we have two, two uh, vents, one there and one there. So my job now is to get these all smashed out while I have to get some stone in. Just tip it straight off the edge first now. Oh yeah, yeah. Can I have one of my cushions please mate? It's when the knee pads are coming handy that they haven't sent us. Yeah. 
Remember doing this last time, really? Did it? Pardon? Last time we did this, we really struggled with it. I don't really remember what to do. Oh, I do. Top. That's it. Then stuff some insulation in here. Yeah, just to wedge it. In there. So there we go, that's how it's going to look. So we're going to just pack it out with insulation just to hold it in place. So we get that on there. That should. Just below the concrete, yeah, 130. So, well below the concrete there. I'm just gonna pack it tight. I'll tell you what, Al, before we do that, mm -hmm. why don't we take it out? Get that end, so put it in last as we, I, was, I was coming out, otherwise, just putting it in our own way, aren't we? What do you mean? The pipe. We've got to run through the wheelbarrow with all the stone. That's so very true. Put it in last. I'll just get the done cut now. So, yeah. Same procedure here, put your time up for again. over quick recap as you will have seen we've got a bit of stone in to recycle stuff this plenty of dust in it gonna come back well yeah so we've got plenty got another layer to go in yet i want to whack it in layers so alex is filling the barrels i'm bringing them in uh, yep ready for our pipes for our vents ready there yeah that's pretty much it so um basically it's just lost a little stone in now ready for um sand blinding so we'll go on here, film a bit at the front.
There we go, stage two done. Stage one, hardcore, and backfill around the outsides. Stage two, sand blinding. So hang on, I will put the viscoid under first. Viscoid first? Yeah. Next stage is viscoid, ready for our insulation. So let's get the, let's get the viscoid in first. Right, quick update. This is our 125 mil jab down. Here's our pipe for venting. I'm going to cut a strip to go across there with insulation. Uh, our bottom viscoid is all down. It's not pretty, but it's it's, all, it's fine. It's only for underneath it. It's only for underneath. The top one's where it counts. Yeah. Can that go down any lower, mate? That needs to sit down flat. Uh, I don't think so. Right, we'll put, we'll put a strip of insulation underneath it to support it. Because there's no, there's no insulation under it. No. Under the pipe, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So well, let's get this. Pipes will make it awkward because they're in the, in the insulation. So we have to cut around the pipes. So, um, yeah, let's get the next one cut. Well, next three. Piece here. Piece there. And then a piece into there. I'm not After a bit of fanning about, fanning about we've, uh, we're done, done for the day. This screen's all set up, we've nailed it down so it's not going anywhere. And all the way through we've got the, uh, we've got the coal bridge all the way across. There's the uh, off cut from it, as evidence. Um, you said next time we're just, we're making it, we're getting a 19 mil aren't we? Yeah, we're getting eight brushes and I make 19 mil. Yeah. Make it so instead of cutting it all, we just. We've had a couple of people comment and we said we should put it. Cut it 225 and then we put the. the jab light against it. Alright. So it goes down and it's jammed in by the actual insulation. So we're going to try that next time as well. That may be a good idea, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, viewers. Yeah, we'll put that in the comments. Thank you. So just show again. We've got whole bridge all around, nailed in, ready for the concrete tomorrow, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 
But um, yeah, and we've also taped up around this pipe, so there's no concrete going anywhere in there. It's all taped down with a few layers all the way around. <sighs> Lovely job. So now we're just going to tidy up and then that's us. This is blue shore, where did that come from? Sorry? Where did the blue shore appear from? Couldn't that's it? it you were just using it? Yeah, we couldn't find it, could we? Oh, I don't know. We had a, uh, we had a missing uh, saw. So, uh, are, we, are we doing the outro now? After the concrete's gone in. Well, as I said, Jay Napier are great. They're very, uh, <laughs> very generous with the portions. We've got a bit left over there, which we're going to have to move. Got another extension coming up after this, so we'll just have to take it bit by bit, take it to that job. But we're all covered up now, rain, for, rain forecast, and we're all set for tomorrow. All loaded out ready. for the concrete loaded out for the brickwork so let's see what happens tomorrow we just need another piece of 4b2 to make up our tamp got one there one there oh and there's the other one so screw all them together and that's our tamp there's our lintels ready keystone lintels i think we're going to make a video then for, for our keystone lintels They've asked us to do a video, so I'm going to contact them and tell them we've got a couple for this job. So yeah, um, I'm supposed to go and do another finish off yesterday's pointing job, but uh, it's time for home now, I think. So, see you tomorrow. And we're back. Monday. Morning, stroke. Afternoon. It's about 12 o'clock, isn't it? Almost. Nice. Yeah, so, we better get some of this water out. Concrete's coming. Uh, after 12, so Alex, uh, Alex is going to start loading that stone in the van. I'm going to get the tamp put together and then we'll get this Do water out. Do this first with the water out. Um, if you start doing the water, I'll go out and start on the tamp. Right, you probably caught about three seconds of us doing that then. This is our second trip. The uh, We're taking up the other end of the street for another lad who wants it. Where we did the uh, fence posts? Yeah, we did the fence posts, which we didn't record. Um, oh, yeah. We've kept a barrel full, just over a barrel full here. Anything we don't use, we'll just take up and give to you when, we, when we're finished. We were going to take it to our next job, but the next job's like six miles. 12 mile round trips, two trips, couldn't be bothered. So um, yeah, that's most of it gone. We've actually had the camera facing, time lapsing that for about an hour and a half. So I won't, I won't put that in the video. <laughs> so um, no sign of the concrete yet, so we're gonna have to go back up and drop this off. It's, it's literally 50 doors up there. So um, yeah, let's go and get rid of this now. And here we are at the other end. Some pile that uh, and hand rolled in, hand balled out, bloody knackered. If you catch the last little bit, Pull 
You have to pull forward. Okay. There it is, it's in. And I've just been up and bought the tumble dryer spinner in the back of the van, thanks to Dad. As I was getting ready to close the door, poof, drives off, slams me in. I went through the bloody rinse cycle. Are you happy with it's yourself? Just passed up at north, just up. So now we wait for this concrete, whenever that'll be, so we'll keep you updated. Right, so update is the concrete will be here in 10 minutes. Like, as we pulled up to uh, start sweeping up the stone and plan out the uh, concrete, company rang us up and they said it'll be 10 minutes, so happy days. Dad's just shifting the van now and um, I think we're all set. The uh, drained out as much water as I could, it's all in the buckets, so recycling. Um, so that's cleared out as best as it can be. Ramp set up for the, for the barrows. Our tamp is ready. About 5.5 meters, so easy enough for us to uh, latch on each side and tamp it out. Um, so yeah, I think that's all we need. So just a sense of uh, waiting for them now. So excellent, better than uh, four o'clock than, uh, than what we were dreading. But uh, yeah, get you set up so uh, you can watch the uh, concrete go in. Well, five minutes later, no joke, <laughs> concrete's in. So uh, once they've washed up and all that, we're gonna... It's just over half a cube. Just over half a cube. Just imagine, we put over two cube in the foundations. Yeah. That's a lot, four times that one in the foundations. That's a lot of concrete. Yeah, they ain't going anywhere, that's for sure. No. But uh, yeah, once uh, once they're sorted and we've uh, got it leveled up, we're gonna tamp it up, screed, screed it up, float it up with the trowel. And then uh, you have to get a cheeky monkey coffee. Yeah, nice latte. Plenty of coffee, just no petrol. No petrol now. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll film properly this time because I'm sure I butchered the uh, pouring uh, camera angle. So we'll, uh, we'll do it properly this time. We'll film the tamping, the uh, floating, and then that'll be it. Excellent. To you. Go back. Tamping back. Ready? Yep. Oh, one second. There we go. 
Okay, back. I need to scrape that down here. Just get your vis-green as well. Mine's like folding in when you're me. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. Mine's doing the opposite. Right, ready? Three? Yep. That's it. Actually, the easiest part of the job so far. The rest of it's been right slog. But uh, yeah, so we're done. Ready to go. Two tonne of stone moved, concrete in. Now we can get cracking. We can get the blocks loaded on the inside, start getting the brickwork up. So I've got a door there, and we've got a small window at that end for the toilet. Solid wall here. Solid door, solid window, with uh, small pikes at each end. Yeah, so let's see what the weather does tomorrow, see if it's going to let us do a bit tomorrow. So, see you back here.